Hello, my name is Manny Paisley. I am um, a second grade teacher at Murfreesboro City Schools. Um, this is my fifth year of teaching, um, and previously I've taught third and fourth grade. Um, I'm currently the math network lead for second grade and have previously been the third grade math lead uh, for our district. Um, I'm also the current interim team lead uh, for my team while my team lead is on maternity leave. Um, let's get started. Question one, um, I would create an environment that has um, an open dialogue, I think, to ensure the success of students. Um, we really have to be collaborative. Um, we have to be able to work together and be able to share ideas, um, best practices, and things like that with no judgment. Um, and I feel like really um, taking advantage of PLCs is important in really utilizing those as um, efficiently as possible. Um, Question two, parent and community involvement. Um, I do think it's important. I think it really shows um, that parents support teachers. I think it's really like a team effort. Um, and, you know, really lessening, I guess, that barrier, um, especially the one that COVID has created for us, you know, bringing the parents back and really having, you know, them be aware of what's going on in our building and showcasing those things. Um, you know, some ideas to do that are uh, literacy nights, math nights, um, open houses, concerts, you know, art shows, um, even carnivals and things like that, just to have fun in the community. Um, question three, um, using data. Um, I've always used data to drive my instruction. Um, I think it's important because I think it backs up the reasons that I do things um, a lot of the times in my classroom. Um, I use it to determine small groups. Um, I use it to differentiate the work in small groups. I also use it for um, RTI services to determine what I'm going to be focusing on. Um, and I really use data to have conversations with parents about, you know, where their child is at. I think that is a really important thing to do also. Question four, um, some professional developments. I think really um, just exploring different teaching models, um, maybe some best practices. I think also really, really important is mental health practices. I think in a time where um, these children that we have currently have very little interaction with their peers and they just really struggle with that mentally. And I think if we know how to meet their needs in that way, um, I truly think that we would set them up for success. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.